Hey all, Matt here with CryptoBlick. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to update your Mini Doge Miner to the latest firmware version. And then also, if you ever have issues, how to downgrade it to whichever version you had before. So if that sounds good to you, let's hop in and let's make it happen. And with recording of today's video, I'm enjoying Three Finger Jack. It's an Eastside Ridge cab um, from Lodi, California. It's a 2019 varietal. Um, it's not a bad wine. It's kind of like a little stubby uh, bottle there, which is kind of cool, but it, the wine's okay. Um, I would say it's a little harsh on the nose and it just tastes a little green to me. So if I bought this again, I would definitely let it sit for six months to a year. And if I wasn't going to wait that long. I would at least decant it in my decanter for an hour at least just to let it open up and, and maybe get rid of some of that kind of harsh tones in the wine. So anyways, that is Three Finger Jack and let's move on to the video. So the first thing you're going to do is come on over to goldshell.com. Come on over to support. From there, you're going to see the section where it says tutorial. All right, just click on view more. But before we do that, let me also show you a handy tool here as well. So this says website tool, it says find my miner. Go ahead and click on that, okay? And it's gonna show me right away my five different mini doge miners that I have. It's gonna show me my uptime. Now keep in mind it says three minutes because here's something helpful for you guys to know. If your miners aren't showing up and you don't have a VPN on, okay? but they're still not coming up like I had. So let's assume that my phone here is the mini doge miner, okay? Actually, this would be better here. So it's sitting like this. You've got the front of the miner here, the back of the miner here, the cable are coming in here, right? Okay, well, there's gonna be a black button at the top there. And what that does is it refreshes your IP so that you can find it within find.goldshell.com, okay? On this website, you see it right now. So go ahead and click that button if you're having troubles and you should be good to go from there. Make sure you are not on a VPN, okay? So once we're in here, we can then come on over to the gear icon. We click that, it pops up that particular miner, okay? So before we go any farther forward here, because this is where we'll go into to update that, that firmware, go back to that support page where you see the tutorial, click on view more, it's then gonna bring up the page here, scroll on down to software, click on that. You're gonna see Yoda MC and firmware. Go to get the latest firmware link right here. That's going to take you to the GitHub website here or GitHub page for Goldshell, okay? And then you're gonna see all the different firmwares that are available to upgrade, depending on what uh, miner you have available right now. Well, we're gonna scroll on down to the Mini Doge Miner. Um, you can see it right here, but also you can scroll down here as well. You can see Mini Doge firmware 2.2.4, okay? So to give you an idea here, I'm currently running 2.1.1.4 because all the other versions after that did not work out because they kept shutting off my miners anywhere from 30 minutes to a couple hours in and I'd have to restart them. It made no sense. So it's like, hey, d there's no need to update your miners if you're not having any issues. So I downgraded them back to 2.1.4 because it worked just fine. So we're gonna test out 2.2.4 to see if we're having any issues. We shouldn't, but you're gonna go ahead and click on that link there. It's gonna allow us to download. All right, so then it already downloaded. So then we have that file available in our downloads folder. Let's come on over to that first miner that I had. So once that's downloaded, go then back to findgoldshell.com, okay? And then let's just go here, click on the gear icon for the first miner. It's gonna pull up. It should be locked. Always make sure to lock your miner so the settings are set in stone. But then we're gonna do unlock. It's gonna then ask for a password. Go ahead and click unlock. All right, so now we are in the miner and we can update the system. So then go ahead and click system. Scroll on down to firmware version. Okay, and then we wanna select downloads 2.2.4. Click update. And then I recommend staying on this actual web browser page. Don't go away from it. I've had issues in the past. I know it sounds 
kind of ridiculous because it should do the work in the background, but just to make sure everything uploads appropriately, leave it alone and let it be, okay? And once you've updated your miner, you're gonna see that progress bar has gone away. You might be able to go back to home, but then it's gonna show a gray box here. The hash rate ch chart is gone, so you see no hash rate. Well, that's because the IP address has now changed with that new upgrade, okay? So then go ahead and exit out of that. Let's refresh our page here for our find.gold shell. And it shows me, hey, all the other miners, all the other ones have been online last 10 minutes. This one here just got updated a few seconds ago. So that is the one that we wanna open back up. Go ahead and click on the gearbox. You're gonna see right now, right here, it says 2.2.4. That is the latest version that uh, we upgraded to, okay? And you can see that right now, the hash rate is right now at 137 and climbing. Fan speed is quite high because I just restarted the whole miner. Um, if I refresh the page here, you're gonna see, well, that didn't really come down much. But over time, you will see. And one other thing I wanna check here, let's go back into the miner here. Okay, good, so it says it's locked. The fan speed is coming down. The average hash rate is climbing. Even you can see here the graph, it is going up. Um, but just make sure it's locked. You never wanna leave it unlocked on your miner. You always wanna make sure you lock everything so the settings don't get changed. Uh, but otherwise, things are good there. We've updated that one. And then for the sake of speed of the video, I'm gonna go ahead and update all the other miners just so you can see what's going on with them. And then we'll be done. All right, so as you can see, I have updated all five of my mini doge miners. Uh, the dot has gone away from number five because it's been up for more than 10 minutes, but you can see everything's been updated appropriately. I could click on one of the gear icons and you could see, okay, this one just got updated. The hash rate is climbing. Fan speed is quite high because it just got updated, but it is at 2.2.4. We go to one that I updated that first one here. We can take a look at it. Okay, you can see the hash rate is leveling out to about 181. Fan speed came down to 2100. And you can even see the graph there is updating, going up and down, up and down as the hash rate is fluctuating. So everything is updated, okay? So now let me show you how to downgrade your system if you ever have troubles with it going offline and you have to do a hard reset, which is not fun because you could be gone at work, you could be gone at the gym, you could be gone on vacation, and then suddenly your miners are down, so you never wanna have that problem, so make sure you pick a stable firmware version, and then that, you don't, then that way you don't have to worry about it. So let's go ahead and just open back up that first one I updated, okay? And if you ever want to find old firmware versions, just come back on over to the GitHub uh, site for Gold Shell, okay, back where we were, we downloaded, as you can tell, that uh, the latest version there. Come back up here to the folder that says Archive. Go ahead and click on that. You're just gonna scroll on down to the version that you wanted, okay? So, we've gotta find Mini Doge, and then 2.1.4. Click there, we can download. Let's download it again, I already have it on my system, but let's download it for the video. Okay, so it's downloaded, okay. So let's go back on over to this miner that we had updated. Make sure to unlock. Once we have unlocked the miner, go on to the system. Same thing here, firmware version. Click that there. Click on that one. Update. So now we are updating the miner. Um, and I did this for you just so that in case you have issues, and I'm gonna be monitoring this new version as well, the 2.2.4, to make sure things are okay and good to go. Um, but I wanted to record how to downgrade as well, just in case you guys had issues as well. You know what to do if you're like, eh, this version isn't working for me, I'm gonna you know, backdate it or backgrade it in a way uh, to 2.1.4 or whichever one that worked for you for your miners. So, all right, we just updated it there. Boom, let's go ahead and close out. Let's do a refresh here. And it, you just gotta give it a couple seconds to update. And then let's come on back to find my gold shell miner. We're gonna find the one there I just updated. Pull that back up. Okay, it reset it back to Chinese. It's going over to English. We need to unlock. And once we have unlocked that miner, you can see that is back to 2.1.4. So that is how you downgrade it if you ever have any issues with your miner. 
So guys, that is how you not only upgrade, but also downgrade your mini doge miners. If you have any questions about how to do that in the future, if you're having any, any troubles, leave a comment in the comment section below. And as always, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, I'll see you when I see you.